I S U P K. All I'm gonna tell you, man, if you wanna stay plugged in and tuned in, make sure you subscribe to I S U P K on YouTube. A lot of powerful information will be coming out this summer, and you wanna stay tuned in. The minute they drop it, it's coming right to you, baby, as soon as you subscribe. So make sure you handle that business and subscribe to your I S U P K.
That's why we are dying at a rate higher than anybody else on the planet. There's ranking order to everything. Let's get that ranking order according to the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Hold on, let's stop right there. This is why black and Hispanic men are leading the nation in crime and being locked up in prison. We don't understand. The head of every man is Christ. And not that homosexual on that side right there. That's not Christ. Christ is a black man from the tribe of Judah. He is a warrior. He was a revolutionary. Why you think they killed him? If he looked like that homosexual right there, if that was Christ, they wouldn't have had to kill him. Right. He wouldn't have been doing nothing but sprinkling pixie dust all over the place. Right. 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 Christ was a soldier, a right. warrior. Right. And he had soldiers that arrived with him. Y'all heard the story? Right. Soldiers chopped the ear off. He's not coming to take the out of one. First of all, black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man. Christ is your head. Right. Follow him. Don't follow the white man. Don't follow the Arab man. Don't try to be like the African man. Don't be like none of them. Be like Christ, a black man. Keep going. And the head of the woman is the man. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. The head of the woman is the man. This is coming out of the Bible. This is half of your problem, black man, Hispanic man. Who stuck up under your woman? God created you to protect her. He created you to defend her. He created you to be the head of her. This is another problem in our community. The man is the head of the woman. So let's start over. Christ is the head of every man. Christ is the head of every man. The man is the head of the woman. Christ is the head of every man. Christ is the head of every man. The man is the head of the woman. Keep going. And the head of Christ is God. This is why we follow Christ. Because his head is the most high God. His head ain't the white man. His head ain't the Arab man or the African. His head is the most high God, the creator of heaven and earth. If you can get that ranking order, if you can understand that, then we won't have so many blacks and Hispanics locked up in America. In a little while, there's going to be more blacks and Hispanics locked up in America than it's going to be on the damn street. That's why we out here to let you know. Give you your heritage back, black man. The Bible is black history. Everybody in the Bible who did anything good was black. We challenge any historian, archaeologist, or anybody to come up here and prove differently. We also challenge Martin Luther King for tricking the black community into thinking that we are supposed to be equal. But this Bible says that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians were supposed to be ruling over all nations on the face of the earth. Right, right. And the white man knows that. That's why he is locking you up to the tune of 350000 a year. Yes, right. That's why we were born in babies to the tune of 500,000 black and Hispanic babies being aborted through Planned Parenthood a year. Because he knows who you are. You just don't know who you are. That's what we out here to tell black people. Get off the drugs, stop getting high, stop sleeping with your brother's wife and all of this. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. You are the real truth. Not the people with the fried bologna pepperoni hats on their head. That is not the real truth. He is Jewish. He wants to be you. He wish he was the Lord's chosen people like you, black man. You don't know this Bible. You follow behind Martin Luther King who sold you out just to get some money. Who was in love with every white woman he came in contact with having orgies right after the civil rights meeting. This is history. Fact check what I'm saying. Jesus Christ was a black man, not that homosexual in that picture right there. That is Caesar Borgia, the second son of the Pope. Jesus Christ was a soldier. We ought to follow him and do what the Lord told us to do and not be like Martin Luther King just trying to have orgies and get paid and selling out the whole black community. Right, right. Get you some ranking order in your life. Christ is the head of every man. The man is the head of the woman and God is the head of Christ. 
that's how it is. If you ain't living like that, then you are being bamboozled. You've been hoodwinked. You just don't understand this Bible. You don't understand how God works. Right. Let me keep going. Let me get Romans chapter 11, verse 1. Another thing that the black man does not understand when it comes to working order is to follow the right leaders. We don't have the right leaders in the black community. We was following Martin Luther King back in the day. Now we want to follow Farrakhan. We want to follow Al Sharpton. All of these people are whores. They have sold you out for money. That's right. We need righteous leadership. You got this, you got the script? Let's go. Romans 11, verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people. Wait a minute. You see black people on the bottom? You see Hispanic people on the bottom? You're like God that cast away his people. That's the question. You think God threw you away because you ain't following the law, statutes, and commandments? What does the Bible say? God forbid! Hell no, the Lord has not given up on us. We have given up on the Lord. That's why we're in the situation we're in right now. 